This is going to be an interesting afternoon, dear. John Webster, Professor of Animal Husbandry, was going to let me loose on his favourite cow, Mavis. Looks like she's already uh, dripping a bit of milk. Yes, she yeah. is. Yes, yes, she's anticipating you. <laughs> Just stroke down the side of her, yeah. down to the other, and yeah. then when you get down there, the back of your oh, hand... Jeez, nearly had my eye out. That That's in the tail. Don't worry about that. <laughs> OK, did... Just, just Forget the tail. Down here. And then, and then just, down just, the just, just a nice firm stroke, like, like, like this, like, like down to the other. Yeah. That, and now, and now back, teep behind like that. Look. Yeah, come on, there. There's a good girl. I'm using all my, all my moves. Oh, yeah. She's automatically doing it for me. Look yeah, at she that. Is. Yeah, well, so she's, it's called, called letdown. It's oxytocin, the hormone associated with expulsion of um, milk in all animals, and also orgasm, if you want to include that in the script. I don't want to give her an orgasm. Um, no, she won't get it, but it's the same hormone. <laughs> I have milked my first cow. I have managed to get milk to squirt out into a saucepan. I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with myself, actually. I'd got the milk out, but where was the pus? Occasionally, the odd bacteria, particularly pus-growing bacteria, will get through. But, of course, pasteurisation is designed to take that out, as well as all sorts of other things. Right. Hmm. Had Heather been exaggerating about the pus? What about the growth hormone? Synthetic growth hormone is given to many cows in North America to drive these milking machines even faster. Heather was right. Growth hormones are injected into cows to make them produce more milk. That sounded really disgusting. But in Europe, it's banned. 